Hey, hello everybody. Wanted to share some devotional thoughts with you for the day. Um, it is Wednesday and it's a pretty day outside, just enjoying the spring. Wish I could be outside more today than what I am, but wanted to encourage you with an old hymn that I came across that I wasn't familiar with. Um, it's interesting how different church settings expose you to certain songs and it's like, how, how have I never heard of this cool song? And, and come to find out, it's not like it's, you know, some song that's never sung. It, it is sung. And, and I, when I went on YouTube, I found several people performing it. And it's, I'm thinking, wow, this is just a great, it's a great song. And it's called The Unclouded Day. Hey, let me know below. Um, send me a message say, yeah, I know that song. Uh, let me know if you have. I had never heard it. Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the skies. Oh, they tell me of a home far away. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. Uh, verse 2, oh, they tell me of a home where my friends have gone. Oh, they tell me of that land far away where the tree of life in eternal bloom sheds its fragrance through the unclouded day. Verse 3, Oh, they tell me of a king in his beauty there, and they tell me that mine eyes shall behold, where he sits on the throne that is whiter than snow in the city that he that is made of gold. Verse 4, Oh, they tell me that he smiles on his children there, and his smile drives their sorrows all away. And they tell me that no tears ever come again in that lovely land of unclouded day. And the chorus goes, O oh, the land of a cloudless day, O oh, the land of unclouded sky. O oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise, O oh, they tell me of an unclouded day. <sighs> what a neat hymn, a neat song. Yes, I, I know, I'm kind of a geek. I like to look through old hymnals and see what I can find in there. And uh, sure enough, I found that in a hymn. It's not in the hymnal we normally use uh, on Sunday mornings, but I found it in one of the uh, ones that I have in my collection. It makes me recall that great passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where Paul says, starting in verse 50, I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the imperishable puts on the imperishable, and when the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful passage. A powerful reminder that this world is not all. There is a heaven that awaits us, all promised through Christ, His death, His burial, His resurrection, our faith in Him, solidifying our eternal destination. Because we're that good? No way. It's because He's that good and has promised us eternal life in Christ, in, in, with Him for eternity. What a great blessed promise that is. Take that with you today, friends. Be encouraged by it. God bless you.